this case, we're just told the perpendicular distance. And the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to a chord is 4 inches. So we've got a chord here on our picture. And this time, you're told that this is perpendicular, and that distance is 4 inches. Our radius is still 6. That was the assumption from the very beginning of the problem that we carried through. Now the question is, what's the length of the chord? So we want to know this entire length right here. So we're going to start by defining half of it. Because we know if that's a perpendicular distance, then that's bisected. Within our right triangle, we can solve for um, a leg. So let's do that. Let's set up the following theorem. One of our legs is 4, so 4 squared plus our unknown leg, this is x right here, x squared is equal to 6 squared. So 16 plus x squared is equal to 36. Subtract 16 from both, both sides. It's the same thing that we got in the other problem. Well, all we did was move the distances um, compared to the last problem that we did. So, uh, but this time that's on the court. It's not the perpendicular distance, so this is the distance of the chord, uh, but that's only half of it. So we're going to multiply that by 2. 4.47 times 2 is going to be 8.94. So the length of the chord is approximately 8.94 inches. Uh, last question here on this one. What is the measure of its central angle? So we've done this before. So I'm going to just isolate my right triangle so we can focus on just this part of it. Okay. We know the radius is 6. We know that the perpendicular distance is 4. We're trying to find this angle right here. So 6 is what side of our right triangle? Hypotenuse. Okay, the right angle points to it, so that's the hypotenuse. What side is the 4? Adjacent, because when we draw that curve through that angle, it touches the side with the 4, so that's adjacent. Which trig function? Cosine. Okay, cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. What we did yesterday when we needed to solve for this, we did the inverse cosine of 4 over 6, which on our calculator is the second cosine 4 over 6. So, oops, that answer doesn't make very much sense, so that 0.84 degrees, uh, that would be because my calculator is not in degrees. Let's try again. That looks better. Okay, 48.19. Is that our final answer? If I'm asking that question, is it our final answer? Probably not. Okay, that was just this part right here. That was just half of it. So we've got to double it to get the entire central angle. Multiply it by 2. So our central angle is approximately 96.38 degrees. involved lots of process kind of problems. Now, um, what I'm getting ready to ask you on the worksheet, they're not that difficult. Okay? They aren't that difficult, I promise. But um, you do have to do a little bit of work on some of them. Okay, Some of them, they might put a segment where you're not expecting it, uh, but it's a radius. So remember, you can draw a radius anywhere in the circle that it's convenient to you. Um, so all of these problems are going to revolve around right triangles. Whether you do some Pythagorean theorem, um, I think all of them are going to use Pythagorean theorem. I don't think any of them have angle measures on there, so you're not going to be using any tricks. But they're all revolving around the Pythagorean theorem, so you may have to do a little bit of extra work to be able to solve some of them.